Good afternoon everybody, Eric White from Vintiques of Maine here. How are you today? We are doing episode 9 of The Mess right now. Um, have not done an episode in a couple months, I do apologize. I've been taking care of some other things I needed to take care of before I was able to get back into the videos. Uh, today I want to talk about cannons. We bought four cannons, yes, you know, boom boom, sink ships, cannons. Um, this weekend at an auction. Very cool things, various sizes. Um, we'll start with the smallest one of them all, which is this one right here. It's a crazy little hand cannon. Uh, it was a toy back in the day by that company right there, Depose. Probably saying that wrong, but you know, whatever. Um, opens up, put your shotgun shell in. Close it up, set your hammer into this. It's got some pressure on it. It's got a three quarter inch bore. Crazy, crazy little hand cannon that you would never see me fire. You could not pay me enough to fire that thing. I paid $125 for this one. We have it listed up on eBay for $295 or best offer. Then, bought this monstrosity. Uh -huh. It's a 14 inch barrel, uh, weighs about 20 pounds, it's all cast iron, it's got a 3 quarter inch bore in it, there's your uh, firing hole, I don't know exactly what they call that, um, it sits on a nice oak base, it's not old, but uh, it is a working cannon, uh, we'd call this one a signal cannon, but I think at 3 quarter inch bore, if you were to put a metal shot in there, you're going to do some major damage, so I would not suggest doing that, even though that's what we all want to do, blow something up. And then, we paid $175 for this one, we're asking $495 or best offer on this one, on eBay. And then we bought this one here, I'll move that one forward a little bit, it's a 12 inch brass barrel, brass, blah, 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 brass barrel, with a half inch bore on it, there's the hole. It is another working signal cannon model. Uh, sits on the nice oak base. Um, paid $125 for this one because it is brass. We're asking $695. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We had somebody come into the store being all noisy. We thank them for their business. Uh, I'm going to talk about the fourth cannon we bought. Uh, people thought I was crazy when I bought this thing and paid this much for it. Uh, it is a 32 inch brass barrel. Sitting on a nice oak base with a one and three quarter inch bore. There's the firing hole. It's made by this guy down here. Hopefully we can read this. Albert S. Eaton. It's a quarter pound replica, or a quarter scale replica of a 24 pounder. Um, we had put that on eBay last night. Uh, for $2,800. Well, first off, we paid $800 at the auction. Um, say we, me, I paid $800 at the auction. Um, I have multiple personalities, I guess. Who knows? Um, and we listed it on eBay for $2,800. Uh, here was the listing right here. Let me close that out of the way. Here's the cannon. There's the listing. There's what we were asking for it. And then... Last night, that's the cannon again, or this morning I should say, we accepted a best offer of $2,000 on it. Uh, quick turnaround, quick money back, uh, that's what we like to do, we flip our money fast here. Uh, not looking to hang on to stuff, get that extra 800 bucks when I'm making an acceptable profit margin on it. Um, but cannons, people love to blow stuff up. So it's another item. Keep an eye out at yard sales and stuff. You never know when you find little toy cannons that will be working. They're all worth quite a bit of money. That is episode 9 of The Mess. Have a great night. We will talk to you again soon. Thank you.